Today we received our best friend mobility large dog wheelchair and we're going to show you how to assemble it and fit it up to the dog. First off, you want to open the box, take all the parts out. Now you can see that we have all the pieces laid out so that we can easily identify them. You'll have two frame supports. You'll have a upper rear crossbar and a lower rear crossbar. You'll have the right front harness bar and the left front harness bar, the front harness, the rear harness, two rear axle bolts, four washers, two tires, but you may have to add air to the tires. You have three tools, two Allen wrenches, and one double-sided wrench. You'll have an owner's manual and assembly instructions. Also included in the package is the rear foot harness. Now I want to point out this is only used if the pet does not have use of their rear legs. If they can use their rear legs to propel themselves some, this is not used. This is only in the case that your pet has no use in the rear legs. Also something that's included only with the best for mobility we give you an extra sports harness that allows the pet to move more free not quite as much for support, but if, for things like throwing frisbee, running, this is a good sports harness. It comes free with a kit. You have the two frame supports. You have the right and the left. You can tell if they're mixed up and not in the correct order because you see the black pads, they should be facing each other. You see the black pads, each one should be facing each other. This is the correct order. The first thing that we install is the upper rear crossbar. This is the upper rear crossbar. The bolt is already in, the nut and the bolt. Just remove the nut and the bolt on each side. side of this as you see it keeps us from moving up and down so you can snug up the washers and that'll snug this up it doesn't have to be completely tight but just you know comfortable holes the bolts are again included they're already in the holes the nut and the washer are in okay now you have the lower rear crossbar and this part's a little tricky it's going to be tied in here and it's supposed to be that way for a reason that's what holds the uh, card into place. One side will go in easy, but you have to really pull, pull this out and keep the whole center. And as you see, it's kind of hard. You gotta move this around. I just, once you have the screw holes lined up, you put the bolts in, and then put the nut on. You have your Allen wrench and your wrench. The small side works for this. Now it's time for the right and left harness bar. They can go on either side, just make sure that the buckle end is down. There's a hole right here. The pins will already be in the unit. And this is adjustable. You can adjust it later once you get the dog in it. For your pet. So for right now, we're just putting them in the middle. You just line the hole up and then put the pan in it. Okay. Now we're ready for the front harness. On each side, there's a clip and it's going up. So 
actually clips into this, this clip holder. Like that. And the right side clip. We'll clip into that. Now that it's clipped in, the front harness is ready. Now we're ready to install the back harness. Go over the bar. Put it in, snap it. Over the bar. Snap it. And repeat for this side. Over the bar. Snap. Over the bar. Snap. Alright, now this is ready for the head to go into. Okay, I want you to notice this part is threaded. That's where the axle bolt is going to go. Put a washer on the axle bolt. Put it through the wheel. Put a washer on the other side. And simply thread it into where you see where the thread is here. Tie it all the way down. Finger tight. And you're going to use your supplied wrench to tie that all the way down. Now we'll repeat that on the other side. Put your washer on. Run it through your wheel. Washer on the other side. Now you just line it up with the threads and tie it down. Once you have the tire and wheel assembled, give it a spin. See how slow it's spinning? If it's spinning slow, just simply just back up the axle bolt a little bit. Just loosen it up and you'll get a free spin. Alright, now the last thing I want to talk about, this is optional as well. This is the Hind leg holders. This is for a pet that doesn't have use of their hind legs at all. These snap on to each one of these upper rear crossbar. So they snap in just like so. Just like that. And this is for the dog's back legs or your pet's back legs if they don't have use. This is also adjustable so you can move it up or down uh, to adjust it for your pet. Now the best frame ability, large dog wheelchair, is assembled. We're ready to fit our pet to it. Okay, the dog needs to be up farther. The harness needs to come up farther. Take up the slide that's in it. Like on this, in this case, for Pepper, we're going to bring it in all the way. I brought it up to see how tight it brought it here. And then repeat that for the other ones. Come on. Come on.